Oh God. Did anyone else know before today that squirrels could talk? They literally talk. <laughs> Never heard a squirrel talk in my life and these guys just have a lot to say. Celebration, Florida, and look at some of these homes out here. This, we're driving down the street. This is our first time ever. Like we've been to, I think, the Publix before in Celebration, but we've never like come. We've always said we want to come walk around the town here. So that is exactly what we are going to do tonight. They have the whole fall festival set up here at. Okay, so we just parked the car here in Celebration. So we just typed in Celebration Town Center and we're starting to come this way. And then we pretty much arrived here in the town and we found the free, you know, public parking right here on this one side street. And so, yeah, we're going to get ready to go walk around. I've always wanted to come over here and tour around to the different homes that they have and everything. So basically, if you don't know Celebration Florida, the history behind it, it was originally a town that was developed by Disney and it was meant to be like, you know, a really just Disney-fied community. And Disney no longer owns it nowadays, but you can still find there's a lot of like Disney touches throughout here because the town was built by Disney and it was built to be like a picture perfect just little town like just something that you would see like just in a movie and just coming in and seeing those the way those homes were it really it looks like that so also what's exciting is while we're here so we're here in October a couple days before Halloween and they have kind of like a fall festival going on as well as we always had seen online that um, during Christmas there's one street in particular here of homes here in celebration that goes like all out and has like dancing christmas lights and everything and they are actually doing that for halloween as well we just saw that the other day we didn't realize that they also do that every year for halloween we thought it was kind of like just a christmas thing so we want to definitely find that and walk around in the evening here as well as see i'm sure a lot of the other homes as well all have different halloween decorations and then we want to go find like the main town center part and get something to eat I think too so it's gonna be a whole evening of exploring celebration this is exciting and it's seriously this is so close to Disney if you want a little break from your Disney vacation it's seriously we went right out the gate it took us like maybe 10 minutes to get over here from Disney property right over here at this community Presbyterian Church they have a pumpkin patch set up it's kind of part of the fall festival squirrel <laughs> it's a celebration squirrel oh he just jumped high Hi, Mr. Squirrel. The squirrel and the lizard together. <laughs> oh, lots of lizards. Okay, so we just came up on Market Street. And this all looks very familiar from what I've seen from other people's videos. That it looks like this is that main, like, town center area. Look how pretty that is. That little fountain just in the middle there. That's very, that's very Savannah right there. After we just went to Savannah the other day. That looks very Savannah. Like, one of the squares they have. With the Spanish moss hanging down. That's beautiful. Look at that. Look how cute this is. Oh yeah, let's look in this little shop. I love that. There's alligator earrings. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Let's look down here's the big, this is, I believe, Celebration Lake, I want to say it's called. And this is like the body of water that I've always seen. People have pictures in front of and everything. It's right here off of Market Street. Yeah, we have to start paying attention to all the restaurants to figure out where we're going to go. Yeah, 
It's another one of these Wolfgang Puff, Wolfgang Bakeries. How cute! And then Kilwins ice cream. Oh, they have chocolate and fudge and ice cream. This right here, this actually used to be an old movie theater when this first opened. And now, I think it's pretty much just become home to like the storefronts that you see along here. I don't think that they really use the inside space for anything much anymore. Maybe some special events or something. How pretty is this? So we're gonna walk around the waterfront here. I wanna see some gators. I wanna see some Florida wildlife right now. There's bubbles, there's absolutely bubbles down in there. A piggy piggy! Yeah, <laughs> he just look at him. <gasps> there he goes. It was just like out of nowhere, he just was like, Boop. It's like a duck that can swim underwater. They're like snake ducks. Look, there's his bubbles going. This is so nice right now. It is so peaceful just walking here around the lake. Oh my gosh, I could so see living here. This is amazing. <laughs> Look how they have those lights. I bet that looks pretty at night, just like over the water here, or over the, the grassy area. How are you? You're cute. <laughs> oh look at this bird it's like a little crane he's blue look there he goes mm -hmm. pretty there's so many dogs around which i love this is just like when we were in um winter garden florida the other day and i was like this is such a dog town it really is and right now it's kind of the same thing we're seeing every once in a while we pass somebody and we're then seeing people with all their doggies and it's so cute oh, I'm here. oh i just saw somebody else dive under the water right there Um, first take a picture. No. <laughs> Guys, look up there. There's like a hawk just landed on this. Look. Oh my gosh, he's beautiful. Hi, baby. Oh, you see something to eat. Oh my goodness, you're so pretty. You are so pretty. What do you see down there? <laughs> He's looking. He's got his eye on something to eat. <laughs> Hi, baby. You're a cutie. Hi. <laughs> You're shaking your tail feathers. What? Is that a squirrel making that noise? <gasps> oh my gosh. Yeah, he's like, I've never heard a squirrel make noise. <gasps> Hi. Oh my gosh, he's looking at us. Hi! What's the matter? What's up? Oh my lord. Meow. That's him. Look at him. Hi! Look at him. <laughs> it's hysterical. Hi! Never did we know that squirrels made noise. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so funny. <laughs> so up here we just spotted a sign that tells us what wildlife we can see. Okay, all the birds, the water birds. Let's see. <laughs> That's, yeah, you don't want to walk down into that. That is like a squirrel getting ready gator to catch that and he's gonna say. Oh my gosh, look at him. The squirrels around here are my favorite. They're like sass. That's the best thing like night. It's a water turkey. A water turkey? The one that we were yeah. looking at? The I'm interested bird. in the squirrel. Also known as the snake bird. Hey, uh, how's it close. doing? Hi. Hi. Hey, 
It looks like they also have like a boardwalk path here that would take you if you want to go into the swampy area. We did not bring any bug spray with us, so I don't think we're going to do that right now. We'll stick to the main pathway here and continue our little stroll around. This is so nice. This is just so relaxing. I highly recommend if you are looking to come and explore Celebration Florida, do it. Like we have we haven't even eaten anything yet or like anything, but we've just like been walking around and looking at like all the pretty houses and just like this right here. And it's amazing. I love this. Look at that park bench with Celebration. Okay, only the celebration squirrels talk is what we've determined. Hi! What are you <laughs> What are you saying? What are you saying? You are so cute. Oh, I've determined that the celebration squirrels are my favorite thing. They are just like a different level of like sass like just sassy zazzy squirrels like they just look at you and like actually make eye contact with you and they talk like did anyone else know before today that squirrels could talk they literally talk <laughs> never heard a squirrel talk in my life and these guys just have a lot to say so here they have this celebration station it's a self-service bicycle rental and so you can come in here and rent bikes if you wanted to then go around the trails here So this right here is what we were seeing when we made our loop around the waterfront, this celebration, the Bohemian Hotel, I believe it's called, which it looks really, really nice. Oh, here we go. This is that lakeside bar and grill we saw the advertisement for back there. Okay, we're actually going to walk inside the lobby here of the celebration Bohemian and check it out. Oh, it's pretty in here. It smells so nice. So we just peeked back here inside the hotel and the lakeside bar and grill looks really good and we didn't realize it actually, it literally is lakeside. Like they have a whole outdoor seating like deck area that perfectly like overlooks the whole water that we were just walking past there and the food looked really good so that's gonna be an option we're gonna keep walking down the main strip here and see if anything else calls out to us but we may find ourselves right back there here's one of the realty offices you want to look at what some of the homes are going for around here a dream home a dream home let's say <laughs> have this avocado Mexican grill. I also have a Starbucks right on the corner here. Nice. Oh my gosh, look at the rainbow. Do you see it? Wow. place right here seems popular the celebration town tavern and it says it has New England seafood and more and here they have the QR menu that you can scan right outside here okay so I think we decided on dinner we are coming back here to the celebration Bohemian Hotel and we're gonna check out this lakeside bar and grill so that we can sit right on the water that looked very appealing to us this right here kind of gives me like some boardwalk vibes like Disney's boardwalk hotel it's kind of similar with just the balconies and like this canopy. Also, this lobby smells amazing. It's a different lobby smell. It's almost like pine and cedar. It's amazing. So here's the bar. And they have some seating inside here. All right, and we are going to go sit outside here right on the waterfront. I think so there's here's two different a little look at their menu here. The small portion or the large portion. And 
It says chicken apple. And kale. I guess there's chicken in it because this other one says ex enhance your salad. Also, I noticed this over here that this is the Orlando Magical Dining. I've heard about this before. It's at select kind of higher end restaurants that during usually it happens like September, October, which is when we're here. We're here in October that you can have a three course meal for thirty five dollars and you get a starter, a main and a dessert all for thirty five bucks, which sounds incredible. They also have the magical pairings that go along with it. And then also here, this is just part of the regular menu, is their cocktails. I don't know if I showed that off yet. And on the back here, here's their wine list. Hello. Okay, so here we all got the Caesar salad, and we all got kind of slightly different variations. So I got it with chicken in it. Mama, you've also got chicken in yours, but for some reason your chicken pieces are different. Me yeah. and you, it's like I have like you the whole thin, slice. thin slices and you have like some bigger chunks over there. And then mom, you got the Caesar salad with, with, shrimp. with shrimp on it. Yeah. And dad, you went for the plain. Mm -hmm. And you can have some of my chicken because they gave me like an entire chicken. So this looks really good. I always love a good Caesar salad. So here I wanted to show you where we just sat. We just had this lovely table. The food was excellent. And here I'm gonna walk over and show you. Also, here's the pool here, which looks very, very nice. Ah, it looks very relaxing right now. And you can see right over here, this is the waterfront. Oh, and I see a lizard friend. Oh, you ran away. <laughs> and here's the backside here of the hotel. This was amazing. I'm so glad we decided to eat here. So we just asked the front desk here and they were really helpful and showed us this is the map of celebration and this is right now where we are at the Bohemian Hotel and we heard a lot of the lights and what we want to see is down here on Jeter Bend. So this is kind of a point of reference of where we have to go to. So we're going to drive. Yeah, look at this. I think so. Yeah, our car is kind of further down that way. Yeah, the girl was saying that from here to Jeter Bend, it'd be like about a five or six minute drive. But our car is actually located kind of more in the center part of town here. So we may actually be a little bit closer once we get back to the car to get there to Jeter Bend. Who knows, we may even just keep walking and exploring and see what we find. All right, so we came back down here to Market Street. Look now that it's getting darker. You can see the lights turned on here that they have like alternating the white and orange strands of lights. amazing about celebration is we're just like here look at this just random side street with this gorgeous little fountain at the bottom this is so nice We're now getting to walk around that little square that we saw that I said looked kind of Savannah-esque to me with all the Spanish moss hanging from the trees. The pretty little fountain in the middle. Look, there's a whole family of ducks all snuggled in for the night. Is that a turkey? It's like one of the, well we saw that sign that was talking about like turkey ducks. Oh my goodness. And then here's a whole family of, family of duckies. So cute. One of the things that we heard is that this is actually the town that kind of inspired Desperate Housewives, the show, which I've never watched that show, but I just, you know, know of it. And when we were out in Universal Studios Hollywood, or when I was there on the Warner Brothers, it's not Warner Brother. It's the Universal Studio Backlot Tour. They have, you know, the actual Wister Wisteria Lane Street. But here in Celebration, there is a real Wisteria Lane. And that was like legit the street that was the show was then based off of. So that's pretty interesting. So maybe we'll happen upon that as we're walking around. But oh my goodness, just walking around here. 
this, look at this. We're already starting to see some Halloween decorations. Some people have gotten all into it, but it is gorgeous here. Look at these homes. And you know, it's crazy thinking about that. This really does feel like a studio back lot or something. I feel like I'm at Warner Brothers Studios or Universal Studios Hollywood. I think you just get that vibe because it is like that movie setting town. Like it just feels, you know, like it would be that picture perfect community. And that's what this was, you know, made to be. Okay, so we found this was the um, Community Presbyterian Church that had that pumpkin patch, and we have parked the car right over here. Plan is to hop in the car and drive over to Jeter Bend, where all the Halloween lights are supposed to be. Cannot wait to see this. From the video that we've seen of it, it looks incredible. Oh my gosh, yeah, you instantly know which street Jeter Bend is. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, look, they got a whole haunted mansion thing going on. 